The Royal Grenada Police Force lost its first officer to COVID-19 earlier today. ASP Byron Klein was last attached to the Central Division and he transitioned this morning at the Princess Alice Hospital in St. Andrew. It was a tough day for Commissioner of Police Edwin Martin and his team. Well, I can tell you, Chris Ling, that one can never find the right words to say in circumstances like these. But I assure you, that the RGPF is shaken and deeply saddened by the news of the passing of ESP Byron Klein, who had served just over 36 years of dedicated law enforcement service to the RGPF and our country. Klein has served in many departments and stations, and as such, he has built enduring relationships with colleagues, officers, members of the public, and stakeholders all of whom are likely to be impacted by the news of his passing in different ways. As a mark of respect, all police flags are being flown at half-mast. Yes, I have instructed that the RGPF flag drops at, at half-mast. It is a historic practice by the force whenever a police officer dies, whatever the reason may be, um, as part of uh, it indicates that the force is in some measure of mourning and that a uh, member of the force has died. The police head has been in contact with Mr. Klein's family. And so I therefore want to take the opportunity here to extend sympathies and condolences to his family and friends, his department, and by extension, the entire RGPF family. And might I add that while his physical body leaves us, I pray that his spirit and treasured memories that he left us will continue to live with us going forward. I also reached out to his wife today, personally, to extend sympathy to her as well. It certainly is a very sad day for us. Approximately 160, which represents about 20% of officers in the RGPF, are currently infected with the virus and are in isolation along with their families. With the new regulations in place and the two weekend lockdowns, lawmen, are stretched beyond the limits, working extended hours to man checkpoints. Christina John, GBN News.